More local coverage now. A bill that would ban Massachusetts drivers from using handheld phones behind the wheel now awaiting the governor's signature. House overwhelmingly passed this bill earlier in the week. Now it has so in the Senate. Alexander Leslie joining us with what drivers will soon need to know. All but one senator said yes to this bill. Democratic Senator Rebecca Rausch said the bill doesn't go far enough to address racial profiling. That was one of the hangups over both the House and Senate versions of this bill. Now, this compromise bill requires certain data to be collected at traffic stops, including the driver's age, race, and gender. The date, time, municipality would be required, plus if a search occurred or if the stop resulted in a warning, citation, or arrest. That data will be analyzed, and the state will be required to release a public report each year. You won't get in trouble if your device is in a hands-free mode or if it's affixed to the windshield. And this also doesn't apply to first responders performing their duties in emergency vehicles. But if drivers break the rules, some hefty fines starting at $100. One of the bill's sponsors says the push for hands-free has been in the making for 15 years. Don't have it on your lap, don't have it in your hand, don't have it near your ear, or you'll not only be fined, but you'll be surcharged with your insurance, which was something I particularly wanted in the bill because I think it changes behavior. But if Governor Baker signs this compromise bill, Massachusetts would be the final New England state to add a distracted driving bill. Rhode Island's hands-free driving law went into effect June of last year. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.